I did find out that it's a machine for, dra for, for excavating uh, um, the, the quarry up north. And that, that quarry that is, uh, you're talking about there, they are very compliant. They have everything in place. With the, the, um, they are compliant for doing the, the mining. Um, it's just a bigger machine to produce uh, the, the quarry, uh, produce the material, this white mark, which is crucial for the streets. I remember that they, in this, the town of San Pedro, uh, we have an aim of paving nine miles. But to pave those nine miles, we need to pat, uh, prepare those streets with white mall. If we were to talk about cost, bringing nine loads of white mall on a barge from Belize City to Hamburgis Key would cost somewhere around $15,000. That's what it's cost. Now with this resource available, natural resource available, and we're doing it the right way, correctly, in compliance, um, this is what is cre we're creating for the tongue council and for the tongue to prepare these trees for paving. We've saved millions of dollars. So that's the bright side that we need to look at. While it's true that it's looking like a huge machinery, the development of Hamburgis Key is growing so fast that we have to prepare. But everything so far shows that it's being done in compliance. For national development, uh, there are certain risks that we take. Um, progress, as they say, brings problems. But let's take it from this standpoint. Belize has a vast amount of uh, land and sea in conservation. Um, we need national development. Some projects uh, that are entertained by one applying for an environmental impact assessment, that goes to at least 15 professional professionals on the NIAC after a summary of that report comes to them from the, from the Department of the Environment. Um, we go based on their recommendations. I think that we have, as you know, 60% uh, of our country is still in forest cover. We have about 39% in protected areas. A large part of the logging comes from um, sustainable logging concessions. And um, we really have very little mining being done that uh, will affect uh, uh, our environment. Um, certainly when a mangrove is torn down, uh, people see it negatively. Um, what we have to start to do now is to uh, also ensure that these companies and these investors can also do some restoration activities and to work along with us to see how we can still have those development projects, but also be as conservative as possible.